China's consumer retail market is notoriously cutthroat, but it's also a market with irresistible growth potential. According to research firm IDG, the size of China's grocery market is expected to hit $1.8 trillion by the year 2023, overtaking the United States as the world's largest. CNA's Lynette Lim has more. After an opening day frenzy which forced American retailer Costco to shut its Shanghai store early, hopes are up that the world's second largest retailer can succeed where other foreign retailers have failed. This year, France's Carrefour and Germany's Metro emerged as the latest to retreat from the competitive consumer retail market in China. They have sold or are in the midst of selling controlling stakes in their China operations, following similar exits by UK players Tesco and Marks and Spencers a few years ago. Technology has made China a very different market in just a few short years. 20 years ago, when the foreign players came into the China market, one of their big advantages, um, because they were, you know, like marked with the Western quality, and that's something like a key advantage that these foreign players have been um, losing in a way um, because the, the, the e-commerce giant Alibaba or JD, uh, they've been collecting like a lot of data on their customers and being able to better understand like what type of quality they are looking for. This is not to say that it's impossible for foreign players to break into the Chinese retail market. In a good way, it will be try to form kind of like partnership or cooperated with like the existing market leader like Alibaba or Tencent. I think take Walmart for example. It has been in Chinese market for many years, and for the past 10 years, they they try to transform and getting more online services. So I think that's kind of like smart way for them to remain being competitive in this such such rating market. Two prominent retailers, America's Costco and Germany's Aldi, opened brick and mortar stores this year in Shanghai, China's richest city. When contacted, Costco declined to be interviewed, while Aldi told CNA that it's adapting to the Chinese market by offering sales on popular online platforms such as Alibaba's Tmall and on WeChat. Apart from stiff competition, the likes of Aldi and Costco will have to contend with sluggish Chinese economy and headwinds from the ongoing U.S.-China trade war. In the case of Costco, it remains to be seen if its wildly successful membership-based business model will prevail in China. The American retailer has reportedly seen dozens of customers terminating their memberships as opening day discount items like Hermes Birkin bags and high-end liquor Kuei Zhou Mao Tai sell out. Lynette Lim, CNA, Shanghai.